There. 167 FPS. Hey guys, so I got the two Chinese triggers from Taobao. This is their original versions. These work really well actually, and they're very nicely made, but then they cheaped out on these newer versions. And these are the only ones they sell now, but unfortunately they don't work. So this is really frustrating. They really cheaped out on these components, and for some reason, uh, so if I'm pulling like, so I'm, pre I'm pretending I'm a string, right? So I'm pull, see, it, it doesn't lock. Now. The only way to make these actually lock is, see that trigger? If I, uh, if, if I keep this tr trigger with pressure, then it locks properly. So now it locks. Now this one actually works properly. So the well-made well one, you push that, and now you're back in the lock position. And this one locks really well. So their older version works really well. And I've been trying to figure out why, and I think it has to do with the geometry. So the teeth of this, versus the teeth of this you can see this one's a lot deeper and this one's less deeper so I think the deeper it is the more it locks into it hi everyone so today we're gonna make the stock for the trigger are you ready so for the trigger I was thinking about just using a 2x4 but I realized it was too thin so I'm actually doing a 4x4 4x4 about 35 inches in length so it's a uh, 35 inches in length, but I'm only probably do 32 to 30 inch draw length. So power stroke is, uh, you know, a little bit less, maybe 26 inches of power stroke. Uh, so that's not that bad. Um, and here it is, it's just a treated spruce. Uh, it's not that bad. Well, it's, it's cheap. This thing is only like five bucks. So why did I get something so cheap instead of hardwood? Well, it doesn't hurt to use this. Uh, see if it works. If it breaks, well, it's only five bucks. If it doesn't break, well, it works. <laughs> uh, hardwood would be the ideal thing, but to find something in this dimension with hardwood, like good quality um, hickory or something like that, oh, it'd be expensive. Uh, so I, I'm gonna cheap out on the stock, um, just just to see if it even works. You know, if it's it's a pretty beefy stock like four inches by four inches so if this doesn't so this shouldn't break so it's certainly very challenging to try to drill this drill little holes and this is the way I'm trying to do it especially getting a 90 degree angle well it's getting drilled you see there's more holes in the bottom as well this is the fastest way I, well it's a lot easier for me to do this and using a chisel. I've never used a chisel before. So I got the hole drilled completely. That's using power tools. Just imagine an ancient person without any power tools and just chisel, or chisel and hammer. Like, mad respect. Ancient people are crazy. Uh, so finally I got this drilled, but it's still not fitting purpose per, uh, per, perfectly because, you know, gotta shave it off. So. I'll start shaving because it's still very bumpy here. Shave it off and then you can insert this trigger assembly. What's up guys? I'm really excited to show you that the crossbow stock is basically done. There's some refinements to do such as shaving the sides so it's lighter, easier to grip, but they're more for comfort. The more important things are the functionality, oh, of course, and then a pistol grip, attaching a pistol grip, I'll do that later. But I just want to show you the functional components triggers on it's attached basically I drilled the holes and then I rasped it until I had that shape where it fits right in it's hard to get it exactly the shape to fiddle with you know it took a lot of fiddling so once I've actually put it in there's the uh, mechanism so uh, so let's check it out so I'll put as much pressure as I can um, I can probably only exert like 60 pounds this way. So you can see it's it's not unlocking. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but let's try again. So yeah, you can see it's not uh, unlocking. That's good. That means it can handle at least 50 pounds. 
I don't know if it's gonna handle 200 pounds. We have no idea. But uh, so so here's the testing. So I apply some pressure, and then I pull the trigger. <clears throat> there you go. I pulled the trigger, and it released the mechanism. So then the string should slide off. And when you want to release it, press the trigger, and then you can just get the sh the uh, mechanism back in. And here's the groove. So this groove is just made really quickly. I could make the groove a lot deeper. It's very rough here. Didn't bother to make it look nice. No, no, uh, no thought was put into that. It's more for functionality. And uh, yeah, there's the, there's where you put the prod. So the next thing I want to talk about is the lashing methods. There's many ways to lash this thing. And in the Ming Dynasty, they had the crossbow prod mounted this way. But the one I used was is mounted on the nose. The reason I did it this way is both um, Mike Lodes and Stefan Selby's hand dynasty Chinese crossbows were mounted this way and out of most of the examples I've seen are mounted this way. Um, but you can mount it so many other ways and um, I don't think it matters too much in terms of performance. Once you put the prod on, you just tie it up and there you go. It's a very quick setup. So if you want to look at people with professional experience in, in this field, here's someone I recommend. The stack, the rear draw, bow starts to draw. Please don't try fire. I'm, ter I'm terrified. I'm actually, is it ready? I'm terrified. This is my first time shooting this. Whoa! It worked! It worked! Ha! Sorry, I'm so excited, but. This is my first shot and it actually worked. I'm sorry I'm so excited because this is my first time shooting it. You don't need to use your back muscles and you can easily pull 100 pounds this way. You ready? Mm-hmm. Fuck. Oh. Ready? Mm -hmm. I might not get a chronograph for you. There. 167 FPS. That's it. Weight is 31 grams. Mm-hmm. Check it out. That's 170 FPS with thumb release. So the crossbow speed is very similar to the handbow speed. Now the hand, hand bow did have one or two inch less draw length because the arrow limit. So you can see both the crossbow and the hand bow had very similar speed. I'm ready to put the second bow onto this stock. What do you guys recommend for the second bow? I'm thinking about using my 110 pound at 28 inch um, alley bow. It's fiberglass, same design, just much, uh, much heavier. 110 pounds at 28 and almost 140 pounds at 32 inches. I'm worried that it's going to explode, but I think that's for the next video.